hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel this is spot out if you just joining me do where to give this video a like hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos so guys do where to pick from the list of matches i will be analyzing live on this video all right so do where to watch this video to the end do not skip this video all right so that you know how to pick your predictions and also you can check the description i will leave the link to my telegram group so that Whenever I drop any predictions, you'll be among the first set of people to see it. So guys, our predictions for yesterday, a lot of um, our prediction came out well yesterday. We won. Alright, so do well to stick to this video. Watch it to the end and do not miss any part of it. Alright, so from UEFA Champions League, we have Inter against Plezen. Alright, Inter Milan against Plezen. So when you check their table, you see that this is Group C. Inter Milan, they have 7 points and Plezen, they have no points. So uh inter milan they are number two on the table with seven points all right so these guys they've been doing well so we can check their last five matches to know how well these guys they've been playing so for inter milan they've won four from their last five games and also when you take a good look at uh, the numbers of goals being scored these guys they score a lot of goals in every of their match at least they always score in every of their games so for please they've won two from sorry they've won three from their last five games and they've lost two all right so these guys they play over 1.5 in most of their matches over uh, 2.5 and lot more so when you check their head-to-head -head game against each other you will see that uh, their last match was played on the 13th of september inter milan beating them uh sorry inter milan beating present two goals to nil all right so guys we can as well pick this our prediction as inter to win the home team is going to win this match so going to the next one, which is Barcelona against Bayern Munich. Barcelona against Bayern Munich. So uh, their table, this is Group C also. Bayern Munich, they have 12 points. And uh, Barcelona, they have 4 points. Difference of 8 points. So Barce uh, Bayern Munich, they are number 1 on the table with 12 points. So let's check their last 5 games, how well these guys have been playing. So for Barcelona, these guys have won three from their last 5 matches. They've lost 1 and they've drawn 1. These guys, they score a lot of goals in every of their match, all right? At least two goals mainly come out from their matches. While for Bayern Munich, they've won four from their last five games and they've drawn one. So these guys, at least two goals usually come outside from their match and they always score in every of their games. So trust me, guys, uh, maybe two goals or more is going to come out from their matches, but let's see their head-to-head -head match against each other. So in every of their games, you will notice that Bayern Munich always beats Barcelona in every of their game all right so from 2021 till 2022 Bayern Munich has always been beating these guys in every of their game so guys we're going to be on the safer side and pick this particular prediction as over 1.5 at least two goals is going to come out from this match so the next one which is Napoli against Rangers Napoli against Rangers so let's check the group that these guys belong so this is group A Napoli, they have 12 points and Rangers, they have 0 points. So you can see the big difference between these guys. Napoli has been doing really good this season. But let's check their last five games for the two teams to know how well these guys have been playing. So for Napoli, these guys, they've won all five of their last games. All right. So they've won all five. And also two goals usually come outside from their games. But the match between them and Roma ended in a one goal to nil. All right. So for Rangers, these guys, they, uh, they've won theory from their last five games. They've lost one and they've drawn one. These guys, they play over 1.5 also in their matches. So when you check their head-to-head -head match against each other, Napoli won the game against Rangers. Three goals to nil. All right. So maybe we can pick this particular prediction as over 1.5 or maybe Napoli to win. But let's see the odd giving so that we'll know how to pick our prediction. So guys, based on the odd given, you see that Napoli got the smallest odd and Rangers got 12 odd. So we can as well pick Napoli to win. The home team is going to win this uh, particular match. So the next one, which is from Bolivia, we have the strongest against Royal Paris. Uh, the strongest against Royal Paris. So let's jump right into the table. For the table, uh, the strongest is number one on the table with 53 points. All right. So these guys, they are the top leaders on this table. All right. So... For Royal Paris, they've got 25 points. So you can see the big difference between these guys, all right? You can see the big difference up to about 28 points as the difference. So they are head-to-head -head statistics. The strongest, this is their last five matches. They've won two, 
they've lost one and they've drawn two so these guys their matches is mostly based on them drawing or them winning so these guys they play over 1.5 in most of their games over 2.5 3.5 over 4.5 so uh, this is it on your screen going over to royal parry these guys they've won two they've drawn two and they've lost one so they have equally the same record as the strongest all right so they either win or the draw so when you check their head-to-head -head match against each other the strongest always beats them like in every of their match clean sheets the strongest always win every game against them so their last match was played on uh, august on the 20th of august the strongest beating them two goals to nil so guys we can also pick this particular prediction as the strongest to win the home team is going to win this particular match they're going to win this match so the next one which is from england league one we have Sheffield against Bristol Rovers. Sheffield against Bristol Rovers. So checking their table, you see that Sheff okay, Sheffield, they've got 30 points and they are number 3 on the table. All right. While for Bristol Rovers, they are number 13 on the table with 19 points. So trust me, guys, trust me, Sheffield will want to be at least number 2 on the table, all right, because they are not far away from Ipswich, which is number 2. They are not far away. So trust me, they will want to score a lot of goals in this match. So checking their head-to-head -head statistics, Sheffield, they've won three from their last five matches. They've drawn one and they've lost one. So their matches is mostly based on them winning, all right? So at least two goals usually come out from their matches. So uh, for Bristol Rovers, they've won four from their last five matches and they've drawn one. These guys, they play over 1.5, over 2.5 and all of that. So these guys, they score a lot of goals in every of their matches. But when you check their head-to-head -head game against each other, these guys, their last match was played 11 years ago, which was in the year 2011. They played a 1-1 draw. In 2010, uh, Sheffield uh, won the match against them, 6 goals to 2 and all of that. But these guys, they scored up to 2 goals in their matches. So guys, we're going to pick this particular prediction as um, over 1.5. All right, So 2 goals is going to come out from this match. Let's just hope for that. So the last one, which is from Norway, we have Arendal against UII Kisa. So there's no uh, table available for this match, but we can pick our prediction from the head-to-head -head statistic against these guys. So for the home team, they've won five of their last game, like all five won, all right? So they play over 1.5 also, but they win their match in most cases. While for Kisa, they've won two of their last five matches, they've lost two, and they've drawn one so these guys they play over 1.5 also but uh the match between them and Asuka ended in a full-time draw zero zero so these guys when you check their head-to-head -head game against each other these guys they play over 1.5 in every of their matches and the last match was played in 2017 but when you check the uh, their last games the last game ended uh, for arena ended one goal okay one to five as in five one Five, uh, for Kisa, they ended four goals to me. So trust me, guys, these guys are going to score a lot of goals in this match. So pick this particular prediction as over 1.5. But if over 1.5 is not available in the market, you can do where to pick it as over 2.5. So guys, I've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Also, pick from the list of these matches. Do not play everything in a single ticket. Do not play everything, guys. And also, remember to stick responsibly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.